Hello everyone, Randy here again, and we're playing American Truck Simulator. And to uh, start this video, I'm going to show you folks how to set up American Truck Simulator with the Farming Simulator steering wheel, or the Satec Heavy Equipment steering wheel and side panel. I've had uh, quite a few people asking, uh, does it work with it? And how do you set it up? So, figured I'd show you folks a video of doing this. So I've got both my uh, Farming Simulator steering wheel and side panel set up. I typically call them the Farming Sim Steering Wheel and Side Panel because that's what I use them for. They are technically known as the Satec Heavy Equipment uh, Steering Wheel and Side Panel. Anyway, we're going to go to Options. Going to go to Controls. As you can see, it's keyboard only at the moment. We want to switch that to the Satec Heavy Equipment Wheel and Pedal. And then if you want to use the Side Panel, we'll just add the Side Panel there. That is... I would say probably kind of optional. If you don't want to, you don't have to add it. If you want to, you know, you can add it. Uh, wheel type, or a controller type is wheel. Uh, I'm just going to change this back to simple automatic for the moment. Uh, typically, you folks that watch this uh, know I play with the uh, G27. So I'm probably not going to change a whole lot of buttons here because I don't want it to mess with my G27 setup. The reason I'm just going to go with simple automatic. Uh, if you did want to use real automatic or even, you know, all the other transmission options here there are plenty of buttons on the uh, side panel and steering wheel here you could probably uh, come up with just about any configuration you want so anyway uh, first off I don't know if this is set up correctly or not we'll find out yes looks like it was so acceleration we're gonna have to set that that is missing just uh, click on it stomp on the uh, gas pedal there uh, brake, we'll set that. Uh, no clutch, at least not on the uh, Satec wheel here. Uh, you could probably configure a button for one if you wanted to. Uh, one thing I am going to do... Oh, maybe I'm not going to do this. I, I could probably do this. Uh, look up and down axis. This is one thing uh, the uh, side panel and the farming sim steering wheel that I really like. You can set this. So we're going to set that to look up and down. And left and right. We're going to set that to the little uh, joystick on the uh, side panel. So just like uh, Farming Simulator, for those of you who use this for Farming Simulator, the little joystick looks, lets you look around. And why is this not showing me as... Check that again. There we go. Not sure why it wasn't showing up there at first. Now it is. So now that uh, joystick will let you look around just like it does in Farming Simulator. Pretty cool. And like I said, there's all kinds of other buttons you can configure here. Uh, I'm probably not going to get too carried away configuring because, like I said, I've got my G27 set up for it, so I don't want to mess that up. Uh, the G27 has been doing an excellent job of screwing up on its own, so I don't want to screw it up anymore. So anyway, we should be all set up to drive. Uh, like I said, you can go in and change any other buttons you want. Whatever other buttons you want. Let's go back to controls there. Whatever other buttons you want to do, whatever you need them to do, pretty much. Uh, no, no force feedback, of course, on the wheel, so none of these options are going to do anything. Anyway, let's uh, get out and uh, hop in a truck. Well, we got a truck. We'll hop in a job. Grab a job, I guess. And uh, see what we can do. That one will do quite nicely. Gets us out into Arizona. Okay, so like I said, we're using the uh, farming simulator wheel. So obviously I can look down. I can look around. That's using the uh, the joystick on the side panel. That's actually one of the things I really like about the the side panel and the farming sim steering wheel. It would almost be kind of nice if the G27 had one. Uh, by the way, you could actually set that up. I probably don't really have enough room on my desk to do that. But you could, in theory, set up the G27... And then have the farming simulator steering wheel set up with additional buttons as well if you wanted to. Certainly within, uh, oh, I'm taking our, my job must be here because it's not giving me anywhere to go. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, we'll take the job. I gotta watch it. I probably got a little bit longer truck now than what I'm uh, used to before. Also, I can't see out the back window like I used to be able to before. We're uh, pretty well lined up pretty crooked with this, but oh well, it lets us attach. And the uh, farming sim wheel should be very similar, by the way, to the G27. Uh, it does have the full 900 degrees of rotation, so very similar that way. Pretty much probably the main thing, it doesn't have the uh, force feedback the G27 does. Probably one of the main reasons I play with the G27 as opposed to the uh, farming sim steering wheel when I'm playing American Truck or Euro Truck. And that's probably one of the questions I get asked quite a bit. Uh, which wheel would I recommend? Well, that depends, in my opinion, folks, on what you're going to be doing with it. If you think you're going to be playing mostly farming sim, I would probably recommend you get the farming sim steering wheel and side panel. Uh, it's probably actually going to be cheaper to get those than it is a, say, G27, or actually a G, uh, G29 or G920 they are now. Uh, you can probably find a used G27 or something like that on eBay, but uh, Logitech no longer sells the G27. It's now the G29 or the G920. But yeah, if you play mostly farming sim, I would probably recommend the farming sim steering wheel and side panel. Uh, if, however, maybe you play more American Truck, Euro Truck, uh, racing type games, other games like that, uh, you're probably better off maybe with the, uh, a G29 or G920 or some other type of steering wheel like that. I would say maybe one advantage, the... Uh, Satec heavy equipment wheel and side panel have maybe over other equipment is the fact of the number of buttons that are on it. I don't know too many other controllers that have this many buttons. And I'm going to get in trouble because I don't actually have a blinker configured on the uh, wheel here. I don't think I do. Let me double check. This isn't the uh, first time I've actually used my uh, farming sim steering wheel to do this, so... Oh, that does turn lights on. Okay. I think that's more of a... Uh, just randomly works than anything. But yeah, like I said, I have used my uh, steering wheel here before to uh, play American Truck. So nothing particularly new to me. I've just never taken the time to configure all the buttons for it. Like I said, I don't want to mess up my uh, G27 configuration. Since that is the wheel I typically play with like 90% of the time or... Probably more like 99% of the time, really. Why is there a flasher?
Okay, I'm not sure what was flashing there. I was thinking maybe I turned a beacon on or something somewhere, but it uh, doesn't look like it. Oh, come on, really? Still 30 miles an hour? Let's, ah, man, we need a faster speed limit here so we can open this truck up. Oh, there we go. 70. Let's nail it. Drive carefully. Okay, we'll try. No guarantees, though. One thing I'll probably say I'm not really used to with the plane with the farming sim steering wheel, uh, the Logitech is definitely a little bit more stiffer steering wheel, uh, probably mainly because of the uh, force feedback. Whereas the uh, farming sim steering wheel, there's no force feedback, it's pretty much free turning. There's nothing that, nothing friction wise that uh, makes it hard to turn the wheel. Some is really easy to turn the wheel here. That's something that at least I find anyway I'm going to have to get a little used to. You know, I'm kind of used to that with a farming sim. Not used to playing it that way with an American truck here. How about you folks, but uh, going about 80 here down these row, curvy roads seems a little quick. Seems a mite dangerous. That's probably why I'm being a little bit quiet here trying to uh, not crash. Uh, considering the uh, pretty good accident we had a couple episodes back there with our really long drive. That actually turned out to be really short. Oh, come on. Now we're yawning to yet. That turned out to be really short. Uh, yeah, we definitely need to uh, be a little more accident-free here. Not that the accident was our fault, mind you. Oh, crap, I'm going to pull over two yet. Let's see, is that, uh, I believe that's this in exit right here. Being them at 35, oh, come on now. I wonder what happens if you go through here. I don't think you can do that. Always wonder what happens if you do that, though. You know, I used to be able to look out and see the trailer back there. Oh, you know what? Can I sleep here too yet? I think... Oh, there's another spot to sleep up ahead. and We'll just uh, go there. Oh, I see. Loaded and empty. Okay, so I am probably loaded. Well, probably am. I am loaded. 
At least I'm assuming the trailer behind us is loaded anyway. Come on, dump truck. Hurry up. Ah, uh, we weigh 54,000 pounds. Come on, people. Speed limit 75. Let's go. Or I have to pull off here and uh, take a nap as well. At least uh, hopefully we can get off. It shows it's on the other side of the road. Hopefully we can get off on this side of the road to uh, do that. I'm guessing that's it right there. It doesn't look like I can get off to get there, does it? Oh, bummer. Okay. Well, I could probably pull through the cones there, but that doesn't look like it's a really good idea. Let's uh, check the map here a moment. Uh, do we have another place to sleep that's close by? Uh, you know what? We can go straight. Yeah, we can go up that way and that'll uh, that'll get us the same thing, it looks like. That should be close enough. Oh, speed limit 25. Why so slow? Okay, going up the highway probably would have been definitely a lot quicker, uh, considering we can only go 25 mile an hour here. That's a bit ridiculous. I don't know where these uh, speed limits come from, but uh, they seem a mite slow to me. Unless maybe the people out on the West Coast drive slow, which uh, somehow I kind of doubt it. At least where I live, typically the only place you see a uh, speed limit of 25 is, like, in a neighborhood. Don't typically see speed limits uh, slower than maybe 35. Even you Typically 45 is a pretty common speed limit, like, in town, town roads like this. Oh, crap, yellow, we're going to make it? No, we're, we're going to get dinged red. Come on now, that was yellow. Okay, we need to pull off, uh, I believe it is this one right here? Or is it the motel? Okay, we'll stop the engine and take a nap. Now the fun part, I need to get out of here. <laughs> and yeah, like I said, I'm used to typically being able to see my trailer looking back there, but I cannot see it now. I think that's because of the longer truck. Oh boy, I don't know if I like that turn or not.
Okay, there we go. Now we're back on the road again. Going slightly too fast. That's right, 25 mile an hour. That's ridiculous. Okay, there we go. Set our cruise at 77. Seems like a good speed. And so far, it doesn't seem like there's anything too uh, spectacular looking about Arizona here. You know, pretty much looks like uh, Nevada and California so far. I haven't seen anything, like I said, too particularly different. Oh boy, look at all the highways and interchanges and exchanges and <laughs> throughs and whatnot going on over here. Yeeha. Oh crap. What do we got going on here? Looks like we're having a merging problem. Whoa, what in the world was that? I have no idea what that was. Unless I, maybe I clipped the guardrail a little bit. I don't think so. I'm going to have to go back and look at that. Hopefully that didn't uh, damage our trailer. No, it doesn't look like it did. Okay, what is up with these drivers here? And I guess this is Flagstaff.
Yay, we got Flagstaff discovered. Oh boy, I hope a train doesn't come through right about now. Pretty sure our trailer's on the tracks yet. Yeah, we're, we're on the tracks. And yes, I see the speed limit's 25. Yeah, we probably better stop by the uh, gas station here, too. We'll let them uh, slow-moving trucks get a little farther ahead. Okay. Oh, looks like we got one vehicle coming. Kind of hard to tell if there's uh, somebody coming with a, like, brush there. Okay, we got about an hour left to go here. Should be there pretty quickly, I think. Oh, now we're getting some different terrain, though. I think we're going to have to stop and take a couple of uh, screenshots here. Yeah, 
Actually, let me uh, turn that down. Whoa. Turn that down. There we go. Okay, there we go. That should be good. I'm sure we'll uh, come through there a few more times and uh, maybe take a few more screenshots, too. Speed them at 40. Okay, just about there. What do we got? Oh, one minute left. Funny thing is, too, when it gets down to that time, it'll probably actually take a real one minute. Actually, it'll probably take a little more than that one minute. Speed defense. Yeah, I figured that was coming. All right, what is up with uh, Arizona? 25 miles an hour all over the place. Uh, trucks that way. Okay. Deliveries only. Well, I think we got a delivery. We might have shook it up good. We had one good, uh, pretty good stop for some good reason. I'm not sure what happened back there. Like I said, I'm going to have to go back and look, but... Okay, there we go. We'll call that good. Hey, at least we got an excellent job. It didn't damage our trailer at all. So anyway, that. If you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.